Time to Talk Tuesday, where your local realtor, Antonio Newton, discusses the local market and common issues, providing quick solutions, creative ideas, as well as tips for investors, home buyers, and homeowners. Hi, my name is Antonio Newton, your local realtor with the Newton Group at Coldwell Banker, and welcome to Time to Talk Tuesday. Today, we're starting part seven. Let me get my fingers right. Part seven of our 10 part series on the home buying process. So just in case if you missed it, you can catch all of our videos on YouTube. But part one was how much home can you afford? Part two was know your credit. Part three was to qualify for a mortgage. Part four was to look at homes. Part five, make an offer. Part six was to get a home inspection. And now we're into part seven, which is get your mortgage approved. So let's dive right into today's content. Before we start, I do want to give you a friendly reminder that you can catch all of our video content on our YouTube channel at Antonio Newton Realtor. Uh, there you will find our Time to Talk Tuesdays episode, our After Coffee, which is our interview series, our uh, market stats, which we put out once a month um, for the Columbia area, as well as various areas within the Midlands and surrounding. Um, and then we also have other video content on there, some neighborhood updates, uh, different Facebook live videos and other video content as well. So make sure you go there, watch the video. You can like it, comment, uh, share it, but make sure you click that bell. So that way you get notified anytime we release new video content. And you can also connect with us on our other social media platforms as well, where we're constantly posting different articles, uh, for you, the public. I'd also like the time to take this time to thank our sponsors, which is Better Way Properties, LLC, as well as Columbia Northeast Home Show.com. Thank you so much for your sponsorship. So let's jump right into today's episode, qualifying for a mortgage. So obviously, before you purchase, you were already pre-qualified. But now after you find your house, there's different steps that you have to go through. One is your lender has to get the contract. And not only do you have to go through and actually make formal application now that you have an address, but now it's going to go to the underwriter. And they're going to look through everything, your whole financial profile, your credit with a fine tooth comb. And so you want to make sure throughout the home buying process that you stay in touch with your lender as well as your realtor to get updates because they may need documents from you um, because things could change. They may find something on your credit. Or there may be a gap in job history or job change. Or there may be uh, something else that comes up. Now, obviously, in the contract, there's going, to be a, there's going to be a financing contingency, which means if something comes up that you were unaware about and unable to resolve, you still wouldn't be obligated to purchase the property and you would get your earnest money back. However, in the, uh, in the resale contract that is most often used in the Midlands, that contingency expires five days, not including the closing date, prior to closing. So we want to make sure that all of our financing issues are going to be resolved before then, because if we're not going to buy the house, we want to at least make sure that we get our earnest money back. Also during this process, the home has to meet certain criteria. They're going to get an appraisal, so the home is going to have to appraise for the contract price. It's also going to have to appraise with no repairs because it can always be subject to some kind of repairs, which means that would have to be done in order for the buyer to be able to close on the property. They're also gonna get a title, they're gonna request a title search um, from the attorney to make sure there's no title issues on the property as well. And of course you'll get title insurance at closing, but all these things are done because what you're looking for is a clear to close, which means that you have been approved financially for this mortgage, as well as the house has been approved for this mortgage as well. So it's a twofold part. And so keeping this, you wanna make sure that, you know, you, from the time you go on the contract, you continue to pay your bills on time and you continue to save money. You know, now is not the time for any kind of large purchases, um, any large cash deposits or anything like that. If you're gonna be using like a 401k or investment account for, the down payment, you got to make that known because that money, those funds are going to have to come in somewhere. If you're going to be getting a gift from a family member or a relative, uh, we got to make that known so that way we can make sure we source it so that everything is done as it should and to eliminate delays. And there's a lot of stuff that's happening behind the scenes. You know, so like I said, it's important that you stay connected and engaged with your lender as well as your realtor because they may need a document. 
or what they call an LOE, which is a letter of explanation explaining either some kind of charge or purchase or a gap in, 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 in job history or anything. They may need what is called an LOE, just saying, hey, what happened here? And you explain it and they be able to approve it because for some reason, something's not adding up or it's not making six to, sense to the underwriter. So if you're doing this and they reach out to you for something, you can get it back immediately. That's going to help prevent delays. And we don't want any delays. We want you to be able to close on time. We want everything to go smoothly as set because you've already anticipated this close date. The seller has as well. Sometimes your interest rate may expire at a certain time frame. Sometimes the seller may not want to extend or they may want to charge you a fee for extending the closing. So it's important that we try to stick to that original close date that we put in the original contract. And so all this can happen. All of this is part of getting that mortgage qualified or getting it approved and getting what we call the CTC, which is declared a close. That means there's no other conditions that need to be met and that you are good to go. So this is part seven of once again, our 10 part series on the home buying process, which is getting your mortgage approved. If you have any question about this video or any other videos in this series, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. And as always, thank you for watching on YouTube or Facebook or either listening on a podcast platform. And we can't catch it. We can't wait to see you next week when we'll talk about part eight, which is preparing for closing. Until then, stay safe. This episode of Time to Talk Tuesday was brought to you by the Newton Group at Caldwell Banker, where nothing works until we do. Look for our episodes every Tuesday where Antonio Newton discusses the local market and common issues while providing quick solutions, creative ideas, as well as tips for investors, home buyers, and homeowners. If you'd like to reach out to us, we can be reached online and on land at area code 803-608-2597. So until next time, here's wishing you all fair winds, following seas, and gentle tides.